Drake McCarty should have died when the flash flood shattered his leg, but something defied the very laws of nature to shield him from the force of the storm. Sworn to keep a secret he doesn't understand, Drake is swept up in a world where trees walk, mountains dance, and stars sing of war. Flying Sparks, 100,000 words of science fantasy adventure set in the dying embers universe. Two worlds collide in this science fiction novel available on Indiegogo for the month of July, 2023. And now, an excerpt from Flying Sparks. Drake staggered to the side with a hiss as his ankle folded under him. Bracing on his good leg, he glanced over at the spring that bubbled up at the base of the rock. His ears were still ringing, but the sound had faded with distance and he couldn't tell if he could still hear it. Of greater importance was the burning pain stabbing up his leg. Shaking his head to clear the emotional fog, he limped over to the base of the cliff and pulled off his moccasin. Drake eased his aching limb into the crystal clear water and settled down on the mossy bank. The cold began to seep into his damaged muscles painfully, but he held his position. A blank look had taken his face. His lips moved slightly, but no sound came out. Under the deep red thatch, his mind was whirling, processing everything he had seen, heard, and felt, leaving his chest feeling oddly empty. It wasn't until a crack like an exploding bomb sounded right over his head that he became aware of his surroundings again. Right, storm, he muttered, wishing he knew more curse words. Trust Abolita to be right about everything. She always was right, after all. With a grunt, he backed out of the pool and stripped off his shirt. Quickly, he wet the material and began wrapping the cotton around his ankle and foot. There would be time to think about everything later. Now, he had to focus on getting home. He could hear the trees further up the hill beginning to groan and snap in the rising wind, and the scent of heavy rain filled the air. Something tickled the back of his mind, something he should be remembering from all the safety lectures that Anna had given them. It wasn't until he heard the roaring rumble like a locomotive right above his head that the realization and terror hit him. Follow the links below the video to order your copy now.